Justin's shocking new ink. Selena reveals her most romantic date. And Normani kills it on Dancing with the Stars. All that and more on today's Rundown. The Jenners and Kardashian empire just keeps growing because Kylie Jenner just got a new show on E! What? But first we have to talk about Normani Corday on Dancing with the Stars. Last night was the season premiere of Dancing with the Stars and Fifth Harmony's Normani Corday killed it. Dancing the quick step in her first dance with Val, you've got to see it. Judge Carrie Ann in Nava said it was a great first opening number, and Judge Len Goodman criticized the pair for taking a while to get to the dance, but also said it was first class. And Julianne Huff said Normani nailed it. While the judges gave her mostly good feedback, the duo earned 27 out of 40, which disappointed Normani's partner Val. Val will be joining Fifth Harmony on their Asian tour to rehearse routines with Normani before they return to LA each week to perform live. Live. Uh, a 24, they definitely did not give our girl what she deserved. I agree. Come she on. looked amazing. Yes. And I was watching her moves very closely, and I thought she killed it, although I'm not a technical dancer, so I don't know everything about it. Uh, what can, what? What I was going to say is that I feel like, because she's already a dancer, mm -hmm. they didn't want to give her a high score because people are expecting that. So I think they're trying to lay it low and not give her the credit that's due. You get what I mean? Yeah, but my problem with this whole season is there's not just one professional dancer, but there's a few. Yeah. And if I was a contestant that was just a celebrity that wasn't a dancer, I would feel very upset that I'm competing with these girls totally. and guys that already know how to dance. But I do want to say I think it's crazy that Normani has such a crazy schedule and her partner is going to go on tour with yeah, them. That's she's intense. going to learn dances while she's performing for the world and then fly back to LA for the live show? That's too much that's for me. That's a lot, that's way too much. And especially for him training her, I think that's a lot for a trainer as well, to have to travel to train, but you know, do what you gotta do. I'm happy she's on the show me because too. it's fun to watch. You know who also has some really good dance moves? Who? Justin Bieber. What? We're gonna get to that in a second, but first let's talk about his new tattoos. Boy got two new tattoos and one is of a grizzly bear on his pet and it is ginormous. Massive, and it's kind of like a mean one. It's yeah, like rawr. in action. Right, and aside from the grizzly bear, he also showed off a new bald eagle tattoo under his pecs on Instagram. The eagle has wings spread wide across Justin's torso, and it really reminds us of Rihanna's infamous wings. So I believe that this is number 56. I think he has 56 tattoos. That is insane. I can't believe there's still space on his body to put new ink. I but know. it is funny because this one that he got right here is very similar yeah. to both Lena Dunham and Rihanna. Mm -hmm. So if you put them all side by side, it's like, hmm, was yeah, there inspiration, Justin? But um, like I said before, he was showing off some dance moves and that's where we saw his new ink. But it's really weird, he's dancing with this older woman. I just, you know what, just take a look. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know exactly what's going on in this video, but I think it's kind of adorable. All right, but what's strange to me is that in true Justin Bieber fashion, he left no caption on either of the I videos. Know. He posted two. One of them had no sound. And I'm like, why is he shirtless with these older people? And why is he dancing with her? Like, I need some explanation. Uh, me too. Me too. But, um, you know, it's Justin. He never explains anything. He no. just does what he does. I guess I'm just happy they're all happy. All right, Jacqueline, mm. get excited because Kylie Jenner has not only announced a spin-off show of her own on E! but she also just announced some blushes. Oh! According to the rumor mill, Kylie Jenner has landed her very own E! spin-off reality show. A source has revealed that the show will focus solely on Kylie and her growing beauty empire. So an insider they have revealed saying, quote, Kylie is so excited. It's going to be all about building her business and hiring people for her team. But don't expect many Kardashian cameos on Kylie's show because rumors say that Kylie wants it to be all about her. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I mean, this really doesn't surprise me. But my question is, is there enough content to make that show great? I don't think I want to just see her in her business the uh, whole time. Have you seen Dash? They hire no. the girls, the girls are a part of the team, and then the production becomes drama. But my thing is, of course the other Kardashians are going to be involved I, yeah, because you are. can't have one without another, and yeah. the other Kardashians are gonna come visit the store. Yeah. But, I mean, I think people will watch. Of course people are gonna watch, but I'm saying I love Kylie, and I do watch her Snapchat, so I probably will be tuning in. But aren't we tired of the same storyline? Another Jenner, another Kardashian just ruling the world and hey, ruling business. Maybe Are this we could over be it? maybe this could be a little bit different. It's not maybe. gonna be different. It's gonna be the same. Wow, girls. whoa! Jackie's hating on the Kardashians. No, I'm not hating. I love hey, them. Let me give you some advice. Okay. You don't have you. to subscribe to anyone. If you don't wanna watch the show, you don't have to watch thank it. Maybe you, somebody Ryland. else wants to watch it and they'll tune into the E channel. Okay, fair enough. All right. All right. Well All right. In, in other Kylie Jenner news, her cosmetics line has announced that they are releasing blushes. She posted a photo of five shades and wrote, I'm beyond excited to welcome these to the Kylie Cosmetics family. She said, I'm obsessed with blush and it's a dream that I can finally have my own. The beauty boss shared the names of the blushes on Snapchat, revealing some titles like Barely Legal, Virginity, and Hot and Bothered. And even better news, the blushes will be available this Friday, March 24th at 3 p.m. Okay, I'm just gonna put a prediction out there. I think Kylie is also going to have a mascara, a nail polish, oh, she already has nail polish. Everything is gonna come out. So I don't think we need to make these announcements anymore. My thing about <laughs> this cosmetics God. line is that I think she should wait and have a little bit of time in between the release of different products because we just got the Kyliders, which barely anyone can get a hold of and when they're coming, some of the product is actually missing. But I feel mm. like if she launched that, let that breathe for a couple yeah. of months because you're gonna run out of products unless you start making your own, which Kylie, maybe do that. Yeah. Um... Great, I'm so excited. More Kylie makeup. Hater! I'm not hating, I swear. I just feel like, you know, it's not news. Hey, hey, if I, hey, if I could make as much money as Kylie Jenner putting out a product into hey, the world, so I'm I. all about it. I agree. Okay, so yesterday we told you guys that Zayn was going to be releasing his second album, but the music is coming sooner than we thought. He's dropping a new song with Party Next Door. Mm. So today Zayn revealed he has a new collaboration with Party Next Door on Instagram, and it's called Still Got Time. The orange artwork sees the two artists side by side, no caption or release date included. And on Twitter, a fan inquired about the song's release, and Zayn replied, soon, and I mean it. So this is really exciting. I'm excited to hear these two together. I think it's gonna be a really good collaboration. Yeah, if it's anything like his last collab with Taylor Swift, mm. we know it's gonna be a chart topper, it's gonna to be good. Uh, my request for this is that the music video is a little bit more eye-opening. Mm. Agreed. Selena Gomez, our fave, is taking on Vogue's 73 questions, mm. and it is oh so good. A lot happened in the 73 questions, but watch as Selena sends a message to her millions of Instagram followers and reveals her biggest pet peeve. What's something you'd like to say to your 112 million Instagram followers? I get to do what I love every single day and it's because of you, thank you. Selena, how would you describe yourself in three words? Loyal, kind, giving. What's a pet peeve that you have? People who are rude. Selena went on to reveal the most fashionable woman to her is Natalie Portman, and her spirit animal would be Meryl Streep. Selga wasn't afraid to be her quirky self when asked to say anything in a foreign language or demonstrate her go-to dance move. So not only was there spontaneous dancing, but Selena also belted out her favorite jingle. She also revealed her first ever concert was Britney Spears, and the one person she would like to collaborate with is Elvis Presley. While some of her answers surprised us, Selena said the biggest surprise she ever had was this. What's the biggest surprise you've ever had? A romantic dinner on a rooftop. All right, Jacqueline, who do you think that guy could have been? I am not even going to put out who I think it is. I think Justin Bieber or The Weeknd. I think The Weeknd. I don't think she would even hint. Um, yeah, hint at anything about Justin Bieber anymore, so it's probably The Weeknd. You know what I love the most about Vogue when they do this? 
you feel like you would know everything about Selena at this point, but right. with these uh, 73 questions, you learn so much more. My problem about these 73 questions is they're so rehearsed and feel so yeah. calculated. True. I would like a little more honesty. I get if you want the one shot, things have to be planned, mm -hmm. but it just feels a little acted out to me, but I still love that we get to see the inside of celebrities' homes because that is so fun for me. Yeah. And her house, oh if gosh. that is her house, is everything. Not fair. All right, guys, so now we have some questions for you. I'm really interested to know, are you guys gonna watch Kylie Jenner's new show? And if you are, do you think it's gonna be anything different? Or are you just watching because it's Kylie? Kylie. I was gonna call you Kylie. I okay. mean, Jack Queen. <laughs> Let the girl live. I'm letting her live. All right, all right. And I also wanna know what you guys are thinking about Normani on Dancing with mm. the Stars. Is it giving you life or is it giving you life? Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome Tuesday and we'll see you here tomorrow. Bye. Click left to see Adele impersonate her queen bee. Or you can click to the right to see The weekend taking Selena Gomez on a romantic trip to his hometown of Toronto.